Welcome back. So, today we are bailing. I've currently wrapped, fermented, and cut the packaging off these grass bales and turned them into silage. I have got my big massive Ferguson and I've also got this bale trailer because it's trying to make my life a tiny bit easier although saying that it's definitely not easy getting it in and out of the yard So all these bales are 150 centimetres bales. I'm going to take this back to the yard. I'm going to sneak through this bit of fence line here. Only because I haven't ploughed this field yet. And I've got traffic on there going past the farm. It's still tight coming this way. So now what I've got to work out how I'm going to get around that corner. The collisions on this map. I don't know how to turn them off. But basically I've got to get around the fuel tank now. Easier said than done. Now can I unload? And will it fit? In here. Oh, there's no collisions on the... Oh, there is collisions on the post. Okay. Even with the parking brake, it's getting pushed along. I've got them bales there. Let's go do some hay, ba hay bales quickly. Um, sneak my way through these gates, it'll be nice. leave that there run across here jump in here it's that button and we are going to fly through this field now so once I have completed the harvest on this field as in collect the hay I am going to plough it.
I'm currently looking at all the fields I've got. I'm working out which ones are easiest to access. With like the bale trailer etc. This one's pretty easy. It's just getting out. onto the main road and into the farm that way so I have to cut through that field and I don't really want to so I might plough it plant it with something else So I'm not too worried about if I leave a little bit on here. It's not going to take long to do either. I just wish my farm had a bigger gate entrance to get in and out. It's definitely a bit snug with a 28 bale trailer on the back. I might have to look into investing into a slightly smaller one if I can find one. Yeah, I don't want to go any bigger than what I've got with tractors as well because that big massive facing that I've got is only a medium tractor and it is still really quite big for the map I find I don't know if it's just my bad driving or whatever got one two three four got about six or seven bales now at the moment probably looking for about 12, 11, 12 bales so the, this field is probably going to be ploughed and planted into some sort of straw crops because that's what I'm going to need next to purchase cows or use for cow feed more than anything I'm needing a weeder for the fields as well because as soon as I'm ploughing them and planting them I'm going to have weeds grow so I really need to get that sorted right so last two passes like I said I'm not too worried about all the extra bits and bobs on the field because I've got precision farming on and it should just end up as fertiliser for the fields anyway so that's how I am looking at it hopefully I'm right be my last bail. So I'm just going to race up here just to make life a bit easier. I'm going to attach that, turn that off. Right, here we go.
Now I was going to use an auto load trailer. Oh, that one's too big. I forgot about that one. So if I put that one on its side, I don't know which one it is. Yeah, I was going to use an auto load trailer. But then I was like, nah, I'll just use the prop tools for the prop job. I could, could have quite easily bail stacked with my little John Deere tractor, but I didn't want it to take for absolute ever because my bail stacking is not the best to say the least. So I've got nine. 10, 11, 12 bales, including the big one, which I can't pick up. Right, these are going to go into the same place. Hopefully. Definitely a bit tight. I don't even know if I'm going to park it next to it. I'll put them there for now. And then I'll tidy up afterwards. So I'm going to leave the episode there, thank you for watching, please subscribe and goodbye for now.